earth. This beautiful mixture of rock and water has been home to many complex and fascinating living forms for thousands of years. Today, we will focus on a very important portion of the history of this grand planet, the Cambrian Explosion, a time in which organisms made a great leap in external change. Behold, our humble, hard-covered Cambrian relative, the Terabytes. Huh? I mean, Torabytes. Tromabytes? Trilobite! Oh, Trilobites. Oh. Very sorry, old chap. No offense. Well then, <clears throat> behold, the humble trilobite in its ancient environment, enjoying the warm, comfortable temperature of the deep waters. Though not completely without glaciation. The trilobite continues on its way, crawling along the soft sand-covered surface. It passes an impressive amount of variation in sponges as it looks for small, delectable worms to fill its stomach. <gasps> the trilobite is not alone in its hunt. Upon its travels, it could meet other fascinating members of the Cambrian fauna. For example, its neighbor, the Hallucinogena. Man has marveled for years over this creature's amazing ability to move along on its small legs. Till they realized that they were viewing it upside down. Another example of the Cambrian's vast collection of creatures is the Anomalosarius. This handsome animal glides on extended wings and bears large, horn-like appendages. His eyes bulging wildly, he catches the image of our friend, the Trilobite. Oh, hello. Hello. Unfortunately, the Anomalosarius is not as friendly as the Hallucinogena. In fact, the Trilobite would have been the perfect bite size treat. And the classic cat and mouse game begins. Through the fields of Pointy Choa, passing massive rock formations, layers of sand, and With quick movements, Woo. the predator is avoided. It has been a long day for the Trilobite. Who knows what events truly would have taken place in those primitive times. What we do know is that it has been the beginning of the wonderful story called life. Sleep well, our gracious host. See you in the future.